Hi guys, I'm back with a review of the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for Oily 2 Combination Skin, which is this little guy here. Uh, the claims for this foundation is that it's a flawless matte finish for up to 24 hours. It has 20 beautiful long wearing shades. It's buildable to full coverage. It contains salicylic acid to balance the skin over time. It's oil free. It has SPF 15. It's very comfortable. Revlon says states um, and it's a lightweight formula it controls oil absorption and it controls shine so without further ado I think I should do a demo for you guys um, before doing this I have applied a moisturizer which is my origins make a difference plus um, and I've applied the professional matte rescue primer Yes, you should apply a primer before applying a foundation. In that way, it goes on way smoother. Uh, so that's not cheating. That's just something you should do. I'm in the shade 180 Sand Beige, and it has different 20 different shades, which means that you will be able to find a shade that matches you. So let's see how this works. My first con is that it, it, the old packaging did not come with a pump, which is somewhat inconvenient you I kind of have to like pour it onto your hand which I think is somewhat of a hassle because you get out way too much and it's very very difficult but the newer formula is coming with a pump so Revlon has caught up on the fact that people were missing a pump so let's do a demo here I'll be using a brush brush just a flat top kabuki um, and I feel like any flat top kabuki will do really so let's see how this applies. As you can see, it is very, very full coverage. Um, but you can of course shear it out. It does apply very beautifully and it blends in very, very beautifully. This did look a little bit light for me, but it's not. It's actually my color. <laughs> and once I get to apply it in, I do not have the best skin day today, so uh, it's a good day to assess a foundation. I've actually been wearing it for a while. Um, I should disclose that fact to you. Um, and I have been liking it a lot, I will not lie to you. It has been very great for me. So make sure to really like buff it in, blend it in. What I do when I use a kabuki is that I push it into the skin. As, as opposed to like streak it in because you will get streak marks usually from most foundations so push it in you can use the brush to drag it around and then push it in in that way you won't get any streak marks um, which is not cute so as I can see this is applying very very beautifully I would say to the skin and it does cover a lot um, but Revlon do also state that it's a medium to full coverage that can be built to a full coverage which I am very much on board with so again push it into the skin make sure to reach every parameter of your face as it otherwise will become somewhat uneven and you'll get like very unflattering edges um, which is never any any cute So it does smooth on very, very beautifully, I think. As you can see, it's it does not look too heavy. I mean, you can tell you're wearing something, but it's not too bad, I would say. It does smooth on quite well. This was with one layer of foundation. It looks this way, which I do think looks very, very well. You can also, if the color is not matching you completely, you can sort of drag it down to your neck a little bit to equalize the color. Remember always when matching, remat match on your neck because otherwise your face is going to be a different color to your neck and it's going to look like it doesn't match you. Um, so always match to your neck. This is with one layer. I do think it looks very, very, very good and also quite matte. There's not a lot of sheen to my skin anymore as there was before. It's not completely natural, but it's definitely looking very good. So make sure when you apply this, you really blend it into the skin. 
and spend a lot of time blending. Good. Let's do a second layer to see how it builds because Revlon does state that it can be built to a full coverage. Again with this inconvenience here. Good thing they fixed that in the new packaging. So I normally I would not put on more than this. I think this is very sufficient. But for the purpose of demonstration I would see how much it can be built. I'll just do it down here just to apply a second layer. It does dry in very fast so you have to work sort of quickly in order to assess this foundation. As you can see this builds beautifully. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look too heavy. Um, I mean you can tell you're wearing something but it almost has a skin-like feel. It's very matte though but very very skin-like feel. So after applying a second layer I am happy with how it builds. It doesn't it definitely does build to a fuller coverage so you can't build it up if you want to. That's something to uh, to think of. There we go that's a second layer once it's buffed in. Good so let's assess the claims from Revlon. Flawless matte finish for up to 24 hours. I would not recommend wearing a foundation for 24 hours. That's simply too long. Your skin will not be able to breathe for those 24 hours. But I have worn it for 12 and it did for sure hold up. So I would have to say check on that one. 20 beautiful different uh, long wearing shades. Yes, they do have that. It's buildable to full coverage. I would not say that it's entirely full coverage. I mean, you can still see my my beard peeking through a little bit and also like some small blemish, but it's definitely a full medium. If you want really full coverage, go with the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation or the Marc Jacobs, what's it called? Remarkable Foundation, that's what it's called. Go with those two. I would definitely say that's better. Um, and it does contain salicylic acid, which balances your skin over time. And also if you have problems with breakouts, it would be very good for you. It's oil free, which is very good, which also does control the oil on your maybe T-zone. If you get that, I do get that. Not so much with this foundation, but with a lot of foundation foundations. SPF 15, that's very, very, very good, yes. Uh, especially also for sensitive skin. It's comfortable. I cannot feel that I have foundation on my face right, right now. It does feel very comfortable. It does feel a little bit tacky though, but very, very comfortable also. It's a lightweight formula. I would not say that it's a lightweight formula. No, it's it's sort of thick, you guys. It's <laughs> it's sort of thick, but, but it's okay. Uh, it's, but I would not say it's lightweight formula. Um, it controls the oil absorption, absolutely, and controls shine throughout wear time. Yes, I would say that it does do that. So quickly to sum up, what I would say that is this foundation has a good medium coverage. It can be built to a somewhat full coverage. The shade range, it has 20 different shade ranges, also ranging within different skin tones. So you can get one for yellow skin tones, warm skin tones, you can get one for neutral, and you can get one for cool skin tones. Um, so you'll definitely, I think, be able to find your exact shade. So um, in terms of shade range, it's very, very good. In regards to finish, it is very, very matte, but it also has a little bit of sheen. So it's like sort of mad with a little bit of sheen and it does control your own oils throughout your on your nose but you can definitely take tell by the texture of your skin that you are wearing a foundation uh in regards to lasting time it lasts for a ton of time like seriously i wore this at once for 12 hours and it did hold up also kept me mad throughout those hours um 24 hours, that's a long time. I would not wear a foundation for 24 hours, but this formula is very long lasting. In regards to price, it is very affordable. It retails for around 9 euros, as far as I could find, and 10.5 US dollars. 
which is one of the most affordable foundations at the drugstore, which is amazing considering the quality. It does perform like some of my high-end foundations. In regards to skin type, yes, I would say oily to combination skin could use this. Um, they would benefit a lot from it since there is a lot of oil control in this foundation. And my oils did not peek through, uh, even in my T-zone where I do get oily sometimes. And also, nor is it very prone to settle into fine lines. I do have a lot of fine lines in my, in my forehead here. It does not settle too badly into them, especially if you use a setting powder, which you should also do. Um, so it's not too bad to do that either. And it did not have any detectable fragrance as far as I could smell. Um, so I would assume that it's also going to work for sensitive skin, also due to the fact that it has an SPF 15, which is also very beneficial. I would still wear an SPF, but nevertheless, it has SPF 15, which uh, should aid in protecting your skin. So who I would recommend this foundation for is someone who wants a good to medium full coverage. Any shade range, basically, um, you can find your shade. Wants a long lasting matte finish and is not too concerned with it being all natural. Um, and wants a long wearing foundation and is on a budget, definitely on a budget. Um, and has combination to oily skin. They do also make one for, for more oily, uh, for dry skin people, sorry, for dry skin people. Um, so they can use that one. I would assume that one would, would be good. I have not tested it because I do not have that skin type, but this one would be for combination to oily skin and with any skin sensitivity. In my personal opinion, this is currently my holy grail drugstore foundation. I just love this stuff. It's amazing and I will definitely repurchase. So thank you very much guys for watching and let me know if there's anything else you want me to review at a later point. And until next time, feel fresh.